You're tuned in to Supernatural Parenting with Patty and Zari. Hi! This is Patty with Supernatural Parenting with Patty and Zari. Say hi, Zari! Hi, everyone! How are you today, Zari? I'm doing great, thanks. How are you? Oh, I made it. <laughs> I made it. We made it through for this recording. Hallelujah. I know, it's amazing. And we just decree right now it's going to be awesome and excellent and work out the way we need it to work out in Jesus' name. Yes. Goodness. What is our topic for today? Today we're talking about music and television and, um, demo- and exposing the demonic. Good topic today. Powerful topic today. Yes. That's why we've had so much resistance. Listen. Yeah. Oh. We've been slapped up on one side and down the other. <laughs> I'm ready to go. I know. They're like, we're going to do everything we can to keep you from telling what we do and how sneaky we are. But that's not going to work. We're getting that information out there because we overcome by the word of the lamb, blood of the lamb, yes. and the word of our testimony. Yes. And um, look, t- this is how we are different than the other parenting programs. We are here to give you tips to be super. Because with the power of the Holy Spirit, you are super. And that's why we talk about stuff that's in the spiritual realm, not just discipline, which is good and good works and how to get your kids academically up to date. But it's the supernatural part that makes us different from all the other parenting programs that are popular that are out there. So do we have a verse today? Well, there are a couple of verses that immediately come to mind, but one of them is that the Lord says that our enemy walks, well, I think it's Peter actually that said our enemy walks around like a roaring lion seeking who, whom he may devour. And a lot of times we always assume that the enemy is a lion and that's not what it says. It says like a roaring lion. So he's just deceiving us. That's what they do, making it seem like he's a lion when in actuality he's just a little cat. He's already been defeated, so we already have victory over him. We fight from victory, not for victory, because Jesus said it is finished. And when he said it was finished, it's done. And then the other thing that we um, we that I wanted to bring to mind is the Lord says that we're supposed to be doers of the word and not hearers only so that we don't deceive ourselves. And we're talking a lot about deception because, of course, that's one of the enemy's favorite tactics. You know, that's that's how they get us most. And I'm guilty of this and I have a couple experiences to share with you. And that's why we're talking about this today. Okay. Anything else you can think of? I mean, there's that, so many scriptures about deception and being aware and staying alert, you know, and all kinds of stuff because we have to. If we don't, it's real easy to get caught up. And like I said, I'm a witness of this. You know, I'm old as dirt, and yet here I am still falling for the enemy's foolishness every once in a while. Because you know? we're human. Yeah, yes, right? yes. But yes. at the same time, we're also, we are supernatural. Yes. We are. True. You are. You have the power of the Holy Spirit in you. You can overcome. And you, maybe you didn't do all the things you were supposed to do. Your kid's a little bit older or you're just right in the middle of stuff. But this will work at any age. That's right. So let's go with this. Right. What What do you have? You said you have some examples. Yes. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I heard the song by Kat. The, the girl, she's um, from Nickelodeon shows called Cat and Sam and um, Victorious. They call, um, they call her Ariana Grande. Well, actually, Ariana Grande is our regular name. I call her Cat because we watch the kids shows in this house. So um, she had this song and I heard her singing live and she's got a beautiful anointed voice straight from the Lord because every good and perfect gift comes down from God. You know, and we can always choose to use our gifts for him. Or for the demonic realm, you know. And so she sang the song called One Last Time. And it is catchy. It's a great song. It was in my head. I was walking around singing it for like five days straight. And then I said, well, let me go look up the lyrics, you know, while I'm sitting here singing this song. Because I just knew that, you know, that chorus portion of the song. So Mm -hmm. I went and looked it up. And it's saying, one last time, I want to be the one that takes you home. I don't care if you have her in your heart. But I want you to wake up in my arms. And I'm like, dude, you know, and usually when I come across a song that's wrong, I try to remix it and sing it for the Lord. And I did come up with a nice little remix to sing to the Lord, you know, telling him he's the only one in my heart, you know. But at the same time, like kids all over the country, all over the the world, you know, are downloading that song and buying that song and walking around singing that song. And what they're doing is prophesying 
the demonic agenda into their lives. They're telling themselves that, you know, it doesn't matter if he's in love with some other girl or he's constantly thinking of some other girl as long as I get to spend some time with him. And that is totally wrong. That is demonic and it's broken relationships, it's dysfunctional, it's horrible. And this is where I realized that, you know, even after I got the lyrics, the song was still stuck in my head because I've been walking around singing it for five days. You know, and like I said, the music is great. You know, it's a great, great, song you know so it has a great line it's catchy and so I'm like I don't want to be singing this song you know and then I started realizing this is where the demonic deception comes in I started thinking about my past relationships in instances like that where there was another girl that a guy was interested in at the same time he was interested in me you know and that it was kind of making me think well you know I had him this time even if she had him that's wrong you know that's dysfunctional it's wrong it has nothing to do with the love of the Lord it has nothing to do with what he desires for his daughters you know for his queens and for his princesses and it is wrong and if I'm getting caught up at 50 years old you know then wh wh what is it doing to the young people you know and most of them probably have no clue they don't have enough discernment to realize that your words have power. Your words have creative power because you're made in the image of God. He spoke and created. You speak and create. So you're sitting there training your brain to say that it's okay if he's, you know, thinking about her as long as he's, you know, spending these few minutes with me. It makes no sense whatsoever, mm -hmm. you know, but you have to have discernment. You have to be able to pay attention to those things, you know, and it's nothing but Holy Spirit's love for me and his plan for me and his desire for me that pointed those things out because otherwise I'm still singing a thong, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm still singing the song, but praise God, like Patty said, I have enough Holy Spirit in me that his conviction overrides the foolishness that the enemy would like to have me bring it out of my mouth every time I get a chance, you know? Yes, yes. I and just that's like, possible for you. Go ahead. It is, it is. And I want to speak to you parents out there right now. You're going to discover things um, by listening to these programs that you haven't known all your life. Like we're... We're discovering this because uh, the Holy Spirit is revealing it to us. And then when we share this with you, you're uncovering stuff in your own life. Yes. Okay, so, and remember, you're the parent. You're you're leading the way. Yes. So when you hear this stuff, you're going to be like, oh, wait. Yeah. And you'll start looking at all the songs and all the programs and all this other stuff. Listen, don't freak out. Right. <laughs> okay. You can do this. The Holy Spirit is stronger, is stronger. And then, you know, if you have older kids, adults, you have teenagers, whatever, you need to definitely not freak out with them. Okay. Because God didn't, Jesus didn't come into the world to condemn the world. Amen. So what you do is you lead by example, and then you teach them truth in love. Look at what these look at what these lyrics say. Yeah. Is this right for you? What do you think about that? Would you like to, you know, be with somebody who's in love with somebody else, you know, like and make them think cuz they're growing up. If they're 2, that's different. Right. If they're 12, that's different. If they're 32, completely different. Yeah. So, anyway. Yeah, and that's true. Like that's what uh, one of the things that I'm saying here, like I am, you know, I'm a mature believer and yet here I am still getting caught up and that's the deception being uncovered and when the deception becomes uncovered when the lie becomes uncovered this is wisdom Patty Kate gave me a few years ago that I always stick to look for the lie you know when things are going wrong look for what the enemy's trying to say and then you decree the opposite so the enemy is you know bringing to mind past relationships and things like that that's mm -hmm. foolishness I don't need to go back there I don't live there I don't have anything to do with those people or anything like that I don't want those ideas coming into my mind I don't want to be meditating on those things because whatever you think you know is what's going to manifest in your life because that's what's going to come out of your mouth so you have to you know though you may say oh well it's not just a big deal it's just a song but if it's you know if I'm doing it then I know I'm not the only one because, you know, human nature is human nature, you know, so you have to pay attention. And just like you said, when they're younger, you are in control. You determine what they look at, what they watch and all those things. And and one of the reasons that um, my son is as stable as he is considering all of the, you know, all of the situation that we went through where we were separated for more than a year. You know, he was out of a godly household for more than a year and yet he has no behavior issues. None of that stuff going on. Why? Because his foundation was set in those first you know, three to seven years, it depends on which, you know, psychologist or professional you're listening to. Some say up to three is when your character set. Some say up to five, some say up to seven. But 
anyway, his foundation was set. He knew, you know, the Lord then and how important that role was in our life. So he, he you know, he knows how to, um, how to adapt and how to change and how to watch and how to see, which leads me to the, another show that we watched for a couple of weeks called Supernatural. And it's a great show. You know, I watched it. I fell in love with it because I'm like, oh, spiritual warfare. That's my thing, you know? And so I'm sitting here telling him, oh, well, this is what's going on. This is what's true in that story. This is what they're making up. This is foolishness. This is ridiculous. You know, yes, the enemy does do that. No, the enemy doesn't do that. No, that's not how angels work. Da, 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 all this stuff. And the show is just so easy to get hooked into because both of the men, they're like six foot and six four. They're beautiful. They're handsome. And Jensen Ackles has this deep, dark, I'm handsome. I'm sexy. Listen to me type of voice. And you just kind of just get drawn into that. You know, I mean, there's no lie that, that you can get drawn into that just because of, of who he is as a person. You know what I mean? His voice and everything like that. You can just get hooked watching him, you know, and I know if I'm getting hooked watching this man because he's attractive and has this deep voice and he's tall and lean, then I know that young girls are as well. You know what I mean? And then the other one in the show, he's like 6'4", dark hair, these huge dimples, and you just are like, oh, they're so sweet, they're so cute, and then you just end up following along with these people as if they have some good wisdom to teach you, and they don't because <laughs> they're trying to fight darkness with darkness, and that doesn't work. That's why they can't get set free from generational curses because they're trying to d expel demons with demonic practices. It doesn't work. It makes no sense whatsoever. It's like saying, I'm going on a diet, so I'm going to keep eating McDonald's, but I'm only going to eat it once a day instead of three times a day. You know, it, may <laughs> it makes no sense whatsoever. So mm -hmm. we're watching that show, and we usually watch it out on the um, out in the family room, you know, on the big TV. And then we watched it for a couple sh uh, shows. It's on Netflix. So we started at um, like season one. And then by the time two weeks had passed, we were on, I don't even know what show, but we watched it in this room where I'm at right now, where I pray and where I record videos and stuff like that. And so I'm watching it all of a sudden. And I'm like, wait a second, this show was releasing something into my house. Hmm. You know, I just saw like at the beginning, they flashed something real fast. And I was like, rewind it, show me that again. And then I looked at it, and I'm like, no, they just released something. Like, so they showed this demonic symbol, but they showed one that was active and it was flinging stuff out of the TV, you know, and this show was started in like 2003, 2005, something like that. So that's how it goes to show you, there's no time or distance in the spirit. If, it, if, it, if they're releasing it and it's still coming to me 15 years, 10 years later, you know, this show has been on 10 years. So that just goes to show you how attractive it is, you know, and so. Um, it's releasing something here and my son's like no I don't think it is and I was like look we're gonna stop watching this for two weeks and watch what happens and then immediately like next day next day I had a turnaround in my house mm -hmm. next day I had a turnaround in my house so the enemy was stealing from me and causing problems in my life that because of that show and I didn't even realize it you know, I thought I was fine. I was exempt. I was immune because I'm revealing the truth to my son and using it as a teaching tool to teach him. And that's fine. You can use those things to teach him. There's tons of opportunities for you to use stuff in the world as teaching tools on how to live as a believer. But at the same time, there has to be a boundary. And like I said, when I was out watching this in the, in the house, it didn't seem like anything was going on. But as soon as I brought it into my prayer room, which is anointed and sanctified, you know, as set apart for the Lord, he said, no, look what the enemy is doing to you. You know, the Holy Spirit broke through and said, no, this is not okay. This has to stop right now. You're losing things and you don't even realize it. Do you see how easy it is for the enemy to steal from us? And we don't even know it. Like we have no clue. So if I hadn't actually brought, you know, brought that show into my prayer room to watch it one day, I may have never known. I wouldn't have watched all 10 seasons, you know, because it's all available on Netflix. Just kept going, getting stolen from, getting beaten down and not thought anything the wiser just because I'm trained in spiritual warfare. Yes, and uh, right right here we need to talk about replacement because, yes. because um, in the Bible it talks about a woman who swept her house out of these demons and there was one demon that left, but then there was nothing to take up the empty space in the house. It was all clean and everything. So the demon was roaming around and looking for a new house, couldn't find one, went back, saw the house, it was empty, which stands for you, you're the one, you're the house that the, any spirit is looking for, yep. and brought seven others back, yes. and now... 
And it said stronger it's, than itself. It says seven stronger yes. than itself. Yeah. Yes. So every time you take something away from your kids or yourself or whatever that has something that's leading you down the wrong path, it needs to be replaced. Yes. I, I had a mentor who was a teacher who didn't want her class to focus on Halloween. So she would have field trips over that season so that instead of doing this big Halloween celebration, they would go do the pumpkin thing or the fall festivals or whatever. So if you're taking something away, you need to get a good store of replacement That's right. music, videos, um, sit down and watch this with your kids so they can see, oh, this is how it goes. This is, there are some sh good shows out there, yeah. right? I don't, I don't know if you can think of, uh, you know, places you can go, things you can do with your kids, even older, that they would love doing. Yes. And I don't want you to think, you know, you need to stop watching TV and stop listening to music and stuff like that because I'm not going to do that, you know, and I wouldn't expect anybody else to do that, but I'm just exposing the demonic basically i'm just showing you how easy it is for deception to step in and cause problems in our lives and we don't know it you know there are so many things that go wrong in our lives all the time and it's so easy to have an open door and we may not have a clue you know we may not have a clue everything has to be exposed to the light of holy spirit and we have to be sensitive enough to him we have to know him enough respect him enough have enough fear of the lord to actually move on those things when they are revealed so now the the deception the availability you know it's readily available for you to be deceived by the enemy it's out there for you you've been exposed to it if you're listening to this and that makes you responsible for it you can no longer use any excuse and no i'm not one of those people who freaks out about uh, illuminati and all the stuff i know that stuff is out there i know that it exists but guess what you know the lord broke through for me and this is a testimony that he will break through for you like you know i was only being stolen from from about two weeks but think about the places in your life that you've been stolen from for years decades you know for generations you your family has been being stolen from because there's an open door to the demonic you know you've been deceived and you think something is oh it's okay it's just entertainment you know Look at those areas of your life. You know, I tell people, my mentors, my mentees that all the time, look at those areas where you're failing in your life. That's where you need revelation that you don't have. You know, you need some kind of wisdom from someone else because you can't do it on your own. You know, those are areas that you look at, you know, look at your life and say, where am I failing? You know, if you say you have big chunks of time that are end up missing, you know, you go back and look over your schedule. Oh, I was sitting down watching Supernatural for four hours. You know, that's where your time went. The enemy will have you thinking you're sitting there watching TV for 20 minutes. And the next thing you know, a whole day is gone. You know, you've been wasted because you've been drawn into the deception. Yes. But there's plenty of other things to do. Plenty of great things to do. Mm -hmm. Church programs. Um, I know... I got involved in volunteering in church in the kids programs and um, at the school, at the Christian school where my daughter went. And she just got addicted to all of that stuff, all of those going to those programs. And now she fights to get to go to these different programs, even missions trips. Like when mom's like, oh, you're going to Mexico. I don't know. She's like, I really want, I really want to go. You want that. You want to replace it with something that they're going to want to be involved in. Because down the line, they'll be fighting with you to go to church or you to go to this youth group or whatever. That's not a bad problem. That's right. And read books. You know, I've written like mm -hmm. 16, 17 of them. Patty's written two. And she's supposed to be writing a third. So, you know, there's good stuff out there. There are videos to watch, lots of training, lots of, there's, you know, we have access to everything. This is something that the Lord spoke to me a while ago. You know what? There's no excuse to continually fail at something because you have so much information available to you. And then not only that, we have access to him. All we have to do is ask. He said, ask, seek, and knock, and the door is going to be open to you. You know, and I have shared this tons of times too. When I've asked the Lord something, the only time he doesn't answer me is if I'm in sin or I didn't follow the last direction that he gave me. You know, any other time, the Lord is not going to withhold 
a, a, the answer to a question from you. It doesn't say that anywhere in the Bible, except, you know, when you've sinned. He says, you know, your sin keeps you from hearing the Lord. Psalm says that. David said that in the Psalms. Isaiah talks about that. Jeremiah talks about that. Ezekiel talks about that. That's the only time you're not going to hear from him. You know, if your heart is right before him, if you're seeking him out, he's going to answer you. And even a lot of times when you are in sin, he will answer you and just tell you, you know what? You messed up. As soon as you confess that, we're right back together. I had that happen a couple weeks ago, too. And that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yep. yeah, I'm learning. I'm learning. But hey, at least I'm not stupid anymore because I was done for a very long time. <laughs> we're not perfect. We're not perfect. Man, this we we had to get into the supernatural because we're not perfect. Yeah. We're not like the people out there writing the perfect people books, perfect parent books, perfect woman books, <laughs> perfect way to find a mate book. We're like, we had to go to the Lord. Yes. Yeah. Right. Which should be our first choice. Yep. Okay. Our kids aren't perfect. No. So you don't have to be intimidated, even if you're starting late in the game. That's right. God speaks to the spirit and the spirit is not bound by oh, I didn't do the right things when they were this little or whatever, or I wasn't the right example. God works. He speaks spirit to spirit and right. any age. Yep. And he redeems time. So, you know, he can make up and restore, you know, in the blink of an eye. It doesn't have to take, you know, years and years and years for things to get right. If you're willing to persevere in prayer and believe him, you know, at all costs, Believe me, you know, both of us are witnesses and can testify to the things that the Lord does day in and day out because we come to him in faith. We're like, Lord, this is all you. <laughs> this is all you. <laughs> and he delivers. He shows up. Let me tell you. Yes, he does. he does. Yep. So I think that's about it. Do we have any anything else you want to add? Um, you just don't don't be in fear. Um. I really got a lot out of uh, what you said about fear, Zari, and love. If there's any area, especially parenting, where you're operating in fear and all of a sudden it's like, oh, my kid might do this or that or they're not involved in this or that, whatever. And just like this fear floods over you, you know, that's not from God. And, and you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter and in listen to all our radio shows and video and everything. Um, but you talked about that. Sorry. So can you add a little bit of something? Um, don't forget we're at Facebook and it's um, Patty and Zari, facebook.com forward slash Patty and Zari. Go to zrightswords.org. There's a supernatural parenting link there. You can go to um, youtube.com forward slash Patty and Zari. You can email us at Patty and Zari at gmail.com if you need to. We answer questions. We do all kinds of things. There are tons of videos on YouTube for you to um, look at. Between Patty and I, we have probably about 400 videos. I have like 300 or something on my personal channel. And then on the Snaps page, we have like 60 videos, something like that. There's tons of great stuff out there for you to get. You know, lots of information that you need so that you can be excellent according to the Lord's, you know, standard so that you can prosper, so that you can be supernatural, so that you can, you know, flow with the Holy Spirit, receive him, love him, just allow him to operate in your life. And um, the power verse that we have for you today is if the trick or the lie was easy to spot, it wouldn't be a deception. So just keep that in mind. If the trick or the lie was easy to spot, it wouldn't be deception right? So That's you right. have to be wise as serpents, you know, because it's sneaky. It's subtle. You know, that's how and, we, that's how we fall for it. Yes. And if you got a revelation out of this, we encourage you to sow your pennies into this. sow your seed into this, that's whatever. Right. It just uh, seals everything together Yes. when you do that. Um, and that I think concludes everything. I think so. Today. Yeah. So remember, we love you, we're here for you, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, you are super. You are. Bye-bye.